Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible. It was always a spontaneous thing. It wasn't said, so, well, we better go out and look for somebody else to live with us. It wasn't like that. I mean, we still had some children here. and Yeah, for most of this time, we still had our younger sons living here. We didn't go looking for it, but it was like it found us. <laughs> the yeah. Lord brought them to us. We couldn't say no. I could sense that he was from a very dysfunctional situation and wanting to connect. And uh, he called me one day saying, can you come pick me up? My dad just beat me up and uh, he said can you take me to the bridge the bridge is a place for runaways and then he didn't have clothes so we went back and snuck into his house his parents were both working at the party store and uh, got some clothes and brought him back here and the next morning I took him to the bridge and they said uh, he can stay if he has his parents permission and he contacted his mother at work and she said no we can't give permission and so we were kind of between a rock and a hard place. This kid is running away from abusive parents and he's got no place to go because he needs his parents' permission to go to this facility. So we kept him <laughs> for a while. Ultimately helped him get emancipation so that he could be on his own. He wasn't ready to be on his own, but that was about the best we could do for him. And there were problems that we had with him here too. He had a temper and uh, eventually he stole from us and things like that. But, uh, but we did minister to him, and, uh, and he's married now with a few kids, and uh, I think he's doing okay. It can be stressful sometimes. If you have a problem, a troubled youth, uh, it's sometimes a bigger issue. You need to wonder about what they will do in the house when you're gone. Are they going to throw a party? You know, are they going to steal? steal from you? Um, you know, there's a trust issue there. In, uh, and we trusted our own children, but sometimes with these other ones that we took in, we weren't always too sure. And so you're kind of putting yourself out there. Um, sometimes it changes your schedule and what your priorities are. Some things, sometimes you choose not to go away, or you take this young person with you. And we look at these young people and sometimes we say, um, this kid didn't have a chance. I mean, it's like they were almost destined to go to jail or prison or to be in trouble with um, substance abuse or something because of the things that were modeled for them. And it breaks my heart, frankly. We talked about it's a risk, it certainly is. And you have to weigh that risk. Is it something that you're willing to uh, lay on the line, you know, to serve God? And, and the, like you said, the emotional strain, it puts you through the ringer sometimes. When they mess up, when they go to jail or prison, it breaks your heart. I mean, you're sorry for them, but it really hurts us a lot, too. And sometimes you feel like you've kind of failed, you've kind of missed the mark. When they lie to you or steal from you, then you sit back and say, now what are we going to do? It can, it can be really hard, because, again, because of that trust. But we want to see the, the end result, we want to see the big picture. Yes, they may fail. They might fall into the drugs and the alcohol. Uh, they might have ruined relationships. Uh, they might end up in jail or prison. But ultimately, if they become strong in their faith and serve the Lord, and there'll be things they're going to stumble on along the way. But the ultimate goal is, are they going to serve Jesus Christ? One of them said to us, if it wasn't for you two, I wouldn't know any functional, strong Christian marriages. <laughs> and uh, so I think they, they see that too. And uh, you know, John has his own family, and Dennis has his own family, and Jerry has his own family, and they seem to be, be doing well. <laughs> well, their children are our grandchildren. <laughs> That, that's interesting too because Derek came on a visit a while back, Stacy's uh, college young man, and he looked at the wall where we have all the grandchildren's pictures and he said, how come I'm not on the wall? So we had to get a picture of Derek and put him on the wall. Now we need to get a picture of Haley, uh, Dennis's stepdaughter, and put her on the wall because they call us grand and grandma. Uh, God has other sheep out there, you know, that aren't of our fold and uh, we have to teach these young people they're not like us in many ways, but they're still uh, part of God's kingdom, and we still need to, you know, make friends, build relationships with them, and get along and serve God together. A loving Savior who came to die. Jesus loves